do not skip this video trust me for your own sake do not skip through this video you clicked on this video to get the best jump shot for your build and your play style i'm going to be giving a jump shot for every build in the game i'm talking about lockdowns i'm talking about play shots scoring machines stretch bigs glass cleaners every build you could imagine any three point rating you could imagine there is going to be a jump shot for you in this video i'm going to be going over the best settings for shooting the best badges for shooting the best tips and tricks for shooting the jump shots i use the best bases releases and jump shots for every build in the game and every three point rating in the game how to shoot with no meter the best green light animations and how to quick stop in nba 2k21 current gen and if you watch through this entire video i can guarantee you that you will learn a lot that you didn't know before you clicked on this video and you will become a better shooter on nba 2k21 if you have any questions about any anything i talked throughout this entire video make sure to either dm me on twitter or instagram or turn on my youtube notifications so you can see when i go live and you can ask me a question while i'm live on stream but anyways without further ado let's get straight into this banger man let's get it what is good youtube it's your boy henry aka double hd and i am back at it with yet another banger and in today's video we have the ultimate shooting jump shot tutorial whatever you want to call it so make sure to subscribe to the channel you will not regret it i stream every single day on this channel and i'll be uploading some banger videos don't forget to drop a like on the video too if you want to become a better shooter if you want to be the best shooter on 2k that you can be drop a like on the video right now or else you're never gonna green again no like that you're not gonna green it but look y'all you're probably wondering why should you listen to me why should i take it from this dude okay now i've been playing 2k for years i literally had the world record win streak on the 1v1 court in 2k20 and the world record win streak on the 2v2 court in 2k20 and stage um i was one of the first legends on 2k20 and then when it when current gen came out i had one of the best win percents i was going on high win streaks next gen came out hit legend on that game had one of the highest win percents on that game as well wagered a lot of people on next gen won a bunch of wagers now i'm back on current gen this is my record on the screen i got about a 91 win percent and that is mostly on iso builds and nobody isos in this game if i was on a play shot on a paint beast for most of my games my, who knows how high my win percent would be but yeah i have a lot of experience with testing builds making new builds jump shots low three pointers high three pointers all that kind of stuff now one thing i will say before i get into this video is i'm gonna be handing out a lot of tips a lot of jump shots and all that but don't be changing your jump shot too much because the more you change the jump shot the less you're gonna be used to the jump shot and the less the, the the worse you're gonna shoot so try to stick with a jump shot and try to see if you can get good with that jump shot and give it time but i'm gonna give you guys a lot of different random tips and tricks i'm gonna be dropping them randomly in this video so make sure you guys don't skip if you don't skip you're gonna be chilling I'm, i talk about a lot of things in this video but anyways we have eight different things to go over in this video like i said in the beginning so let's get into the first thing right now make sure to drop a like let's aim for 10,000 likes on this video so drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're new 500k on the way let's get it baby okay youtube we are in the park right now i'm on my playmaking shot creator build right now but that's besides the point we are going to look at the best settings for nba 2k21 shooting okay now you're going to want to start off by going over to the far right on the menu options and settings go to your settings and there's a couple settings in here that, that you're going to want to look at now the first one is going to be the shot feedback okay now in the beginning of the year a lot of people were taking off their shot feedback and they were saying that it gives you a boost a five percent boost to your jump shot um to more greens i guess and it just wasn't the case it was tested and it was tested to, and found out to be not true but now after many patches many months later now that we are in april of nba 2k21 current gen shot feedback off actually does give you a boost to greens when it is off so i would i wouldn't recommend turning this off immediately especially if you use meter right now but in the future you know you could practice with shot feedback off and it will give you a boost so just know shot feedback off is the way to go um if you want more greens and then all these other settings besides the sound settings are pretty useless but the sound settings are kind of useful i don't know about you guys but i don't play the 2k beats beats music uh when i play 2k just because i'm a youtuber and i can't have that be copyrighted music you know what i'm saying but i would recommend having all these other sounds on i don't know for me maybe this is a me thing y'all let me know in the comments i play better 
when the sound is on. I know that's like a little small thing that shouldn't really matter, but I don't know. I play better with the sound on, so I thought I'd throw that in there. Anyways, go to controller settings. This is when it starts getting very important. Vibration, make sure it's on. I don't care if 2K took vibration out because they were trying to patch its ends, right? So they took vibration out of the game for online game modes such as park, but still have it on because if you're bumping somebody on defense, you know, sometimes you get vibration on defense and stuff. It's just better to have on. There's no point of having it off, okay? Shot meter. If you are using a shot meter, take it off uh, i'm gonna show you guys later in this video how to shoot better how to practice without a meter on um so yeah make sure you have your meter off i know a lot of you probably do have it on trust me just take it off okay and once you take it off never put it back on i don't care if you go over 100 in a twos game just get used to it you just gotta keep going through it keep going through it. you will eventually get good without the meter on okay shot aiming put this on shots and layups um because you put it on shots and layups you can do the spin dunk you can do all that stuff uh, don't make it off, especially if you're like a post score. Like you need to make sure that it shots and lamps is on. That's the best one to go with. Pro C function, make sure this default absolute absolute for your dribbling. And everything else is looking good to go. Now that is it for the settings for the most part. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next step. Okay, y'all, we are by the boost stand. This is for the second step, which is going to be the tips and tricks. There's a lot of tips and tricks I'm gonna give you guys. A lot of things you guys are gonna wanna listen to just to make you a better shooter. And to start here, buy boost, okay? If you guys don't have boost, buy jump shot boost. If you're not playing this game with jump shot boost, then you're going to be a way worse shooter than anybody using jump shot boost just off of that okay so make sure you're buying jump shot boost you know what i'm saying if you don't have the vc get the vc make sure you are using jump shot boost in your stage games in your park games in all of that kind of stuff now fortunately for me if we go over to my skill boost i have unlimited boost and if you guys want to know how to get unlimited boost basically all you have to do is either place top 10 in gold rush top 10 in a boot camp or top five in basketball gods or if you are an elite one or higher you can get it off the bonus on the elite one spin the wheel those are the only ways to get unlimited boost as of right now um so yeah make sure you do that another thing you want to do is gym rat okay now gym rat you can unlock at superstar 2 or you can win the finals in my crew okay basically what gym rat does is if we go back over to our skill boost it gives you a plus four to all of your physical attributes and obviously the faster you are the more acceleration you have the you know the more stamina you have obviously you're going to be a better shooter because you're going to get to open more and you're going to have more stamina when you are shooting the ball so that does help out a lot now if you don't have gym rat what you're going to want to do is you want to go to the Gatorade facility, which is all the way in the back of the neighborhood. So I'm going to go over there and meet y'all over at the Gatorade facility. All right, as you can see, I am at the Gator facility. And basically, you're going to want to do these weekly workouts. See, it says, welcome to the Gator facility. There's a bunch of workouts you can do. If you click Y, you can look at the workout checklist. But basically, when you look at the checklist, there's going to be a bunch of workouts that they're going to give you. Just do those workouts. Do as best as you can on those workouts. And you can, give your, you can get your weekly workout in. And basically, what that does is it adds to your physical attributes gives you another stamina bar um for about a week in real time so you definitely want to do those workouts another thing you could do is now this gets kind of expensive especially if you're a guard you want to buy gator that's also going to make you a better shooter better dribbler it's going to give you more stamina now if you don't want to spend too much vc on gatorade because gatorade can get really expensive just buy the blue ones okay just buy the cool blue energy ones that's the best one but if you really have a vc buy all of them so you know if you really try to win you really try to go try hard definitely buy gatorade that will help a lot now another big tip is practice a lot of you guys join the park right and you just hop right into a game right or some of you are not even good at shooting and you just test it in game don't do that bro y'all see the pro am arena over there you can go practice over in there or you can go to your my court right here and practice in here there are a lot of drills in the my court as well that you should use that's why i recommend going to the my court so we're gonna walk into the my court right here i'm gonna tell you guys what drills not to do and what drills to do because yes there are drills that you shouldn't be doing that actually will make you a worse shooter um believe it or not so as you can see we walk into the my court all you guys want to do is go over to the i guess the basketball is over here play game with friends do not do the shoot around this is the shoot around basically don't do this i know i'm sounding crazy that's like the most basic drill in here do not practice shooting in the shoot around and the reason for that is because you will get just a bunch of whites and full bars that you wouldn't get in game the latency is so much more different in here so yeah do not practice in the shoot around because you're gonna be missing shots that like that even though that went in that was like a full bar animation 
you're going to be missing shots that you just wouldn't be missing and it's going to give you the wrong impression whether or not you're doing good or bad with your timing so yeah just don't do that drill now the drills you're going to want to do is two of them there's the first one is ball machine ball machine is a very good drill especially if you want to practice without meter ball machine is a fantastic drill to get your jump shot down um to start you know what i'm saying if you got a new jump shot on or maybe a new build a new height or something you got to get used to whatever the case might be you could just click a or x depending on what console you're on and look at i could just shoot from every spot on the court and i have shot feedback off by the way so these shots are green you just can't see it um but anyways yeah you could get you can you know you could do five shots from the corner you could do five shots from the wing five shots from the top of the key right wing right corner and you could be like okay i'm not gonna leave this my court until i green five greens in a row from each spot if you could do that then oh my your shooting is gonna improve a lot you know what i'm saying it's just like real life bro you gotta get reps in bro you gotta just get your jump shot down right and i'm gonna talk about how to time your jump shot more later in this video but anyways let's quit that and let's look at the last very good workout that you guys want to do it's called the personal workout it's all the way at the bottom you're gonna click the invite button just invite any nba player to your my court right and then you're gonna wait for a couple seconds it's gonna let you start you're gonna start you're gonna put yourself on offense the nba player on defense then you're going to start the match correct it's gonna load up here in a second and basically you're gonna have unlimited offensive possessions with a defender in front of you now it might be you know obviously the the difficulty isn't the same as park or whatever but you know what i'm saying you could practice your drill moves here but you can also practice your jump shot after dribbling so if you're like a play shot and you just want to get some reps in right or whatever slash it doesn't matter what build to be honest even a lockdown and you want to get some reps in after dribbling and see what it's like to you know dribble and then quick stop and then shoot and try to get that jump shot timing down then you could just play in here and get a lot of reps in this is another w uh drill to do now one last thing for the tips and tricks there's gonna be a lot more tips and tricks midway in this video but these are just like the main ones um is hit 99 overall okay a lot of you guys watching this video think 99 overall is like this really hard thing to do or it's like really difficult it's really not just play my career play twos the worst way to grind for 99 is playing threes do not play threes it's very hard to get 99.9 on the threes just win the games on the twos if you can't win on the twos okay fine play my career on pro five minute difficulty and you will hit 99 very fast and the reason for this is it gives you plus four to all your attributes so it gives me plus four to my shooting plus four to my speed acceleration stamina that's all gonna help me shoot better so make sure you hit 99 that's gonna become make you a way better shooter 99 overalls compared to 95s it's a huge difference okay i'm telling you another thing is make sure you have max shooting badges bro don't come out here with not max badges expecting to shoot okay make sure you guys have your badges max play my career do whatever you gotta do get your badges max okay because you're not gonna be the best shooter if you don't have badges you know what i'm saying but anyways that's it for the tips and tricks let's go on to the next thing all right y'all so as you see i'm back in the park we are going to show you guys the best badges for shooting now i'm going to show you guys the best badge setup for builds with hall of fame shooting like my play shot right here and builds with only gold shooting or low three pointers like my slashing playmaker and my slasher so we're going to go over here now i have 23 badges it doesn't really matter how many badges you have i'm going to show you guys what are the most important badges the least most important bad is and all that stuff so before i go into my setup let's just talk about in general okay the best and most important badge is range extender now range extender isn't like it was in past years where it's limitless range oh it's behind the three-point line range extender this year in current gen is even mid ranges it's really anything outside of the paint so you need to make sure you have that badge maxed i don't care what your build is what you're doing that badge has to be maxed out if you want to be a good shooter the second best badge is hot zone hunter now make sure you get hot zones you can get hot zones in my career you can get them in park you can get them in pro am you can really get them in anything just basically shoot good from zones and you will get your hot zones now if you want to know a way to check your hot zones all you have to do is go over to your stats how do you do this my minutes go over to your player click the right stick in and then you can go over to your hot zones which should be right here yeah right here you can go to nba you can go to park league these are my park hot zones you see i got all of my three-point hot zones ready to go i don't have all my mid ranges but make sure you get your hot zones anyways hot zone hunter very important badges if you have this bad if you don't have this badge equipped and you have hot zones you're just trolling max that badge out third most important badge green machine and then after that it depends on your build if you're more of a corner build it's kind of like a corner specialist catch and shoot thing if you're taking up the ball it's more of a dead eye a hot start kind of thing and if you're taking most of the shots you know it could be you could 
go in with clutch shooter volume shooter anyways the most the least most important bad is that you should never put on deep fades unless you're a post score slippery off ball unless you have like 40 shooting badges no pump fake maestro never uh pick and popper never i don't care what your build is never use that badge uh it's just not worth it you can put badge points to other things that'll be better than that badge ice and veins never unless like you're just a pro-am head i don't know i wouldn't even use it in pro-am steady shooter never just uh, why you're gonna miss more open it's not even good like it was in 2k20 tireless shooter is actually not that bad uh, but not as important some of these other badges difficult shots very overrated uh diff every difficult shot so let's say i put difficult shots on bronze that gives me a plus one to your fading shots silver plus two gold plus three hall of fame plus four so it really doesn't do much to be honest think about how useless that is like it's only like plus one plus two like these other badges like for example green machine it's gonna give you a way bigger boost than difficult shots would ever even on hall of fame shit bronze dead eye would be more helpful than hall of fame difficult shots in most situations you know what i mean so that badge is very overrated um but yeah flexible release actually lowers your green window in most cases but it gives you a lot of wets so if you if you can do hall of fame flexible it actually is pretty good it's it's kind of like a, a 50 50 badge you can either be really good or really bad sometimes but yeah steady shooter ice and veins pick and popper pipe uh pump fake maestro slippery off ball deep fades and difficult shots i would stay away from those badges all these other badges are very good even flexible catch a shoot corner even though i don't have those on on this build those are very good but this is the bad setup i have for my playing and shot creator in my opinion in this order rating center hot zone hunter green machine dead eye those are the most important badges hot start it's kind of a risky one because if you don't make your first shot then it doesn't affect you so that's why i only have it on bronze because i don't want to waste too many badge points hall of fame volume shooter i'm a play shot i'm going to be shooting most of the shots very good badge clutch shooter on silver this badge activates at 16 after 16 points so if i'm playing threes i'm definitely gonna want to have clutch shooter on but anyways those are the best and worst badges we're gonna head, go ahead and take a look at my other badges on my other builds so let's go ahead and get on the iso build all right so as you can see i'm on my slashing playmaker now it's basically the same as my slasher right um it gets gold shooting badges it can't get hall of fame and it's three pointer is a 79 right now at 98 overall so yeah this build not the best shooter but it runs ball okay so now if you're a lockdown and you only get gold shooting badges make sure you are using catch and shoot and corner specialist otherwise if you are running ball if you are an iso player this is the best setup in my opinion once again, it's the same thing. Raining center is the most important. Hot zone hunter is the second most important, especially on low three-point builds if you have your hot zones. Green machine next. And then after that, you can risk it, put hot start a little higher, but I think hot start is always the best on bronze just in case you miss your first shot. Uh, and then I have gold, dead eye. Dead eye is a very good badge in this game as well. A lot of people say it's like good on bronze, but trust me, if you have it on gold, it's very hard to contest you in this game. Sometimes, you know, if you're going up against like a 6-3 play shot, they will be right there and it'll say like 1% contested. And dead eyes, you know what I mean? Like any shot, if you have dead eye off and you're getting contested for like 20%, if you had dead eye on gold, it would be like a no contest basically. So make sure you have dead eye on. Corner specialist, this is a very good badge for ISO builds because let's say a play shot on a glass finisher going up against me, they they might just leave me wide open because i'm a slashing playmaker so if i'm gonna go if i'm gonna shoot if he's gonna sit in the paint i may as well get an extra badge to go to my shooting and go shoot in the corner go quick stop in the corner put on corner specialist that's a w but like i said if you're more of a spot up build definitely use catch and shoot and corner um probably on max to be honest but i would say the most important bad is for corner builds is rain extender hot zone corner and catch and shoot green machine's not as important if you're sitting in the corner as a lot because Green Machine doesn't activate until after two greens in a row. And what are the chances that, you know, that's not going to happen every other game. You know what I'm saying? So unless you're running ball, that's important. But yeah, if you're an ISO build, like I said, Raging Center, Hot Zone Hunter, Cream Machine, and Dead Eye, very important. Corner Specialist is pretty important as well. But yeah, those are my opinions on the badges for gold and Hall of Fame shooting builds. You can take that advice. You can listen to me. You can not listen to me. It's up to you. But yeah, that's what I've got to say about the badges. Now we are into my court again. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to shoot without a meter. Okay, now I showed you guys drills earlier in the video that you can do. Make sure to do those drills when you take off your meter. Okay, now obviously a couple steps. Take off your meter. You can take off your shot feedback. Do whatever. Make sure the meter is off though. Now there's going to be something called a cue. Okay, now what a cue is something that you look at to know when to time your jump shot shot okay now you can either time your jump shot off of the cue or you could do it off of muscle memory now i do it kind of off of both mostly muscle memory though but there is no vibration in 2k anymore um, when it comes to shooting the ball so you cannot get a vibration after shooting the ball as of now as of this recording and as of this video is being uploaded so you're definitely 
It's definitely a lot harder to shoot without a meter, but it's still, you know what I'm saying? I still have no problem with it. And the best players in the game all still use no meter. Now there's gonna be three cues, like I said. There's gonna be one, which is the feet, two, the arms, and three, where the ball is, okay? Other than that, you can use muscle memory, okay? Muscle memory, basically. And by the way, all these shots are green. I just have my shot feedback off. Anyways, the muscle memory thing is just practicing your shot. The more you practice with no meter, the more you'll, you'll, you'll know in your head, okay, I have to let go of X around this kind of time. So the more you green, the more you get used to greening the shot. I know it kind of sounds weird, but it's very simple. So either A, go off of muscle memory, which means you have to get a lot of reps up. So going to the ball machine and doing those drills, like I said, is going to be very helpful. Or B, look, have a cue, whether it's the wrist, the basketball, your feet, have a cue of when to know the shot. So for example, when I shoot the ball right there, my wrist is right is in this position when i'm supposed to release um the button or whatever you're using to release the to shoot the ball with so that's when i should be releasing the ball so every time my wrist gets to that point i know okay let go of the button and it'll be green you know what i'm saying so the more you practice your cues the more you practice your muscle memory the more you get used to shooting with that specific jump shot the better you will be without meter now if you do change your jump shot and you have a cue or muscle memory obviously you're going to need to get some practice with that new jump shot so you know when to release the ball or the new timing or the new cue to look for when shooting the basketball but those are my tips when shooting without the shot meter now one last tip before i go on to the next thing just never put the meter back on ever i don't care if you're struggling with it at first that's what a mistake a lot of people do is they struggle with the meter at first so what they do is they just give up on it or they struggle with a jump shot at first and they just switch jump shots don't stick with the jump shot stick with the meat with the no meter and you will just become a better player okay that's how i got used to no meter that's how everyone else got used to no meter that's how all the best players got used to no meter and that's how you are going to get used to no meter all right so next is another very important jump shot tip but it has nothing to do with shooting the ball low key but it's very important if you want to be um, a very good shooter in NBA 2A tournament correction, and that's learning how to quick stop. Now, this is in um, one of my dribble tutorials. I'm going to show you guys one of the ways to quick stop. There's a lot of ways to quick stop. You can either use your right stick, you can tap LT, or sometimes you can just let go of everything, but let, letting go is the worst way. You could do, I would recommend doing the LT, the left trigger one, or uh, doing the right stick one. I'm going to show you guys how to do the right stick one um, right here. So basically what you're going to do, if, if the ball is in your right hand, well, let's just say the ball is in your left hand and you're running towards the left side, right? And you want to quick stop on this left wing, right? All you're going to do is while holding the right trigger and the left stick, because obviously you're going to be holding those two things if, if you're running over here, right? So you're running over here with the right trigger and the left stick. You're going to let go of the right trigger. And as soon as you let go of the right trigger, you're going to flick the right stick to the right. And then you're going to shoot immediately. Okay. Now this is only if you're going to the left side. So once again, if you're going to the left side, you're going to let go of the right trigger. And then as soon as you let go of the right trigger, flick the right stick to the right and just hold the shoot button immediately. So X square, whatever console you're on, depends. Boom. You're just going to shoot immediately. I'm going to have it in writing on the screen, but hopefully you guys understand that if you're going to the right side, once again, you're going to hold the right trigger and obviously you're holding your right, your left stick to the right. Cause you're running to the right. You're going to let go of the right trigger. And as soon as you let go of the right trigger, you are going to flick the right stick to the left, just like that. And that's how you quick stop. Now this is going to get you open a lot easier. I, once you get it down a little bit in the shoot around, I would then invite a player to the mic court like we did earlier. So if I'm practicing it on here, you know, do a couple of drill moves, whatever. Let's say I want to go over and shoot on the left, let go of the right trigger, flick the right stick to the right. Boom. Green. If I go over to the, the, the right side, you know what I'm saying? Go over here. Let go of the right trigger, left stick to the left, boom, green. If you want a more detailed um, explanation for this, make sure to go watch my dribble tutorial. Um, I will put the link in the description. But yeah, let's go on to the next. Okay, so lastly, last but not least, right before we get into the my jump shots and the best jump shots, this is very important, actually. And this is the best and worst green light animations to use for high three-pointers and low three-pointers, okay? Now, believe it or not, green light animations don't really, like, change, I guess, you know your green light percentage or whatever but it does make you a worse or better shooter in most cases it's kind of weird to explain i don't know how to explain it but i know if you use green light animations 
you know and drop a link in the video if you can relate to this you know sometimes if you put on a green light animation you don't shoot as well with the other one that you just had on so anyways let's go to in-game celebrations and then we're going to go to my mark park jump shot emails now if you're a lockdown that sits corner it's actually better just not have a green light animation um so if you're a lockdown or you're a build that sits corner it's actually better not to have a green light animation on so that's the best way to go with that now the ones that are very good for especially like stretch big centers that shoot or low three-point builds peekaboo peekaboo is a literal glitch on low three-point builds builds with any from anything from a 60 to an 85 three-pointer peekaboo is very good okay another one that is good jump rope jump rope is very good for low three-point builds anything from a 60 to 85 i use this on my slashing playmaker uppercut is another good one for low three-point builds those are probably the top three jump shot emotes for low three-point builds now play shots high three-point builds windmill is very good windmill is a very good one for high three-point builds another one that is very good is split splits is another very good jump shot emote is this statue one so my top three for high three-point builds is statue uh the the splits and the uh spin you know what is it called bro at the bottom again the uh windmill the windmill those are the top three for the high three-point shooting builds and low three-point shooting builds uh the top three i said peekaboo jump rope uppercut and then nothing at all for corner builds so yeah take my advice if you want you can do whatever green light animations you want but i have noticed a huge difference with using some and not using some now before i go because i know a lot of people just skip but one that is actually always good that i really liked especially in 2k20 is the wave the wave is a literal glitch i don't know what it is any build the wave is very good so if you want didn't skip you were just gonna skip to the jump shots that's a secret one use the wave try it out it is a huge w all right so i know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this these are the jump shots i use i'm gonna show you guys the best jump shots for every position and everything but i'm gonna show you guys the jump shots i use so the jump shot i use on my slashing playmaker and my slasher both of my iso builds you know what i'm saying is a custom jump shot yes it is this one okay this is the iso build jump shot i use so if you are looking for an, one of those jump shots for low three pointers that can iso this is the jump shot i use i always use dante exum in 2k20 i'm using that same base here release one rudy gay release two kobe bryant blending uh three out of four and then animation blending i mean actually release speed three out of four and then the blending 50 50 this is the jump shot i use very good jump shot to use uh for you know builds with only gold shooting bad is that iso so yeah that's the jump shot i use and then we're gonna go ahead and look at my play shot jump shot too all right so here is my playmaking shot creator jump shot i use base dwayne wade release one paul george and release two release 99 and then the blending is three out of four animation blending 60 40 this is the jump shot i use on my playmaking shot creator for everybody wondering now those are the two jump shots i do use i am now going to show you guys jump shots for every single build ones that are good secrets about making your own custom jump shot so everyone is gonna walk out of here with a jump shot and if you don't like the jump shot that you borrow from this video you know what i'm saying you can take another jump shot from this video or you can go to the comment section so if you guys have jump shots that i'm that i don't say in this video that you think are butter chicken you know what i'm saying drop the jump shots in the comments below and you can go search for some more jump shots in the comments man we all try to help each other out here you know what i'm saying so drop a like on the video if you guys do find your jump shot here but anyways let's get into the best jump shots for your build okay now we are going to show you guys the best jump shots i'm going to show you guys a lot of secrets now before we get into anything let me show you guys a couple tricks when you're making your jump shot okay now something that a lot of youtubers don't tell you guys is the base of a jump shot is really the only thing that matters the most okay a lot of these youtubers will make a jump shot video and the first jump shot video will include base 98 with two random releases right and then their next jump shot video is the same base but different releases what basically they're doing is they're just trying to get another jump shot video out just to get some another video out you know maybe more views whatever they want to do but really in reality it's just the same jump shot it just looks different so it's going to perform the same so the only thing 
that you should really be looking into specifically is the base of your jump shot that matters the most release one and release two don't change the green window at all they don't change the make percentage the white percentage uh they don't change any of that stuff the only thing the release one and release two do is change how the jump shot looks now obviously that actually is very important because uh the better your jump shot looks the easier it's going to be able to time especially if you do not use us so just know that the base is the most important thing the release one and release two are just for looks so make sure you know that another thing when making a jump shot is you always want the release speed to either be at three out of four or four out of four four out of four just know it's gonna be less grains harder the time it's gonna take a lot more skill to use that three out of four is always the best one to go with for sure and then animation blending is randomly you know it's just gonna make the jump shot look better or look worse you can really kind of test that out but let's stop wasting y'all time and let's get into the jump shots that i would recommend now i told you guys my jump shots earlier in the video but i'm gonna put on the screen the 10 best bases remember i said bases are more important than the releases you can really mix and match whatever releases you want to make the jump shot look better so it's easier to time but these are the best top 10 bases for any three point ratings from a 65 to an 84 so you can look at all the stats on there too there's green wind there's green window size there's white percentage there's green percentage there's total make percentage there's a bunch of statistics on the screen you guys can look at what bases you might want to make if you guys want to make your own jump shot and then here is another screenshot of the top 10 bases for play shots high three-point ratings any three-point ratings from like an 86 to a 99 they have the same statistics on there they have the same statistics on there you can look at that as well now the most popular bases for high shooting builds is obviously 98 and Dwayne Wade and then for low three point it's like Stephen Curry Dante Exum 98 there's a bunch of other bases for the low three pointers but anyways let's get into very specific jump shots now we're gonna start with high three point rating players that are ball handlers so more like play shots and stuff like that here is the first jump shot we're gonna start with base Dwayne Wade these are some good releases that go with base Dwayne Wade so we got base Dwayne Wade release one Paul George release two 26 now most any of these jump shots you can change from 75 percent speed to 100 speed it doesn't matter it's really up to you but the blending is 60 40 it's a very good jump shot right there another Dwayne Wade jump shot we have is base Dwayne Wade release John Wall release 245 with a 50 50 blending 75 percent speed we're gonna keep rolling with the Dwayne Wade's we got Dwayne Wade Paul George Lamarcus Aldridge 60 40 once again the releases don't matter these are just releases that look good with Dwayne Wade so it's easier to time another one is Dwayne Wade Kyle Corver Lamarcus Aldridge 50 50 and then our last Dwayne Wade is base Dwayne Wade release one Tony Parker and release two 15 75 25 3 4 speed now another good base that I said for guards was 98 so we have base 98 Kevin Duckworth Kevin Duckworth 50 50 100 speed this is actually the one-handed jump shot we also have base 98 release 15 release 26 and that's going to be a 60 40 blending 70 percent 75 percent speed another good jump shot 98 is jump shot 98 release 113 and release 2 114 60 40 blending 75 percent speed this is a very popular jump shot especially with a lot of tiktokers they a lot of tiktokers have been showing off this jump shot so yeah it's very it's a very known jump shot a lot of people like it it just doesn't very it doesn't really look good but it's a, it's a very good jump shot now starting with my corner sitters my lockdowns my spot ups uh, all my low three-point builds that ISO we're gonna start with base 98 Kent Bazemore release one Paul George release two 60 40 blending 75% speed this is a very good jump shot right here another good spot up jump shot base Stephen Curry release 126 release 215 40 60 blending 75% speed and then my last jump shot for my ISO builds and my corner sitters base Dante Exum release one Dwayne Wade release two Dwayne Wade 100% speed 65 35 you can go 75% speed on that as well getting into the centers the stretch bigs the the builds with like that can't get the most of the bases because they're too tall or whatever this is the first one right here base 96 yes i said 96 release 54 and and clay thompson for release 2 50 50 blending 100 speed now on these centers you want to go max speed no matter what because the jump shots are already slow because you're too tall and then the next jump shot we have jump shot 38 lamarcus Charles release one and rudy gay release 2 40 60 blending 100 speed now base 38 is definitely the best base in my opinion for all the centers out there and the last jump shot for this video this jump shot i think can go on a guard or a lock or a spot up or an iso but i think it really fits with any of them 75 percent speed 60 40 we have jump shot 98 ray allen trey young another very good 
jump shot for you guys those are the best jump shots i have for you guys specifically you can go ahead rewind and pause the video and look at all those top 10 bases based off your three point rating and really create a jump shot for yourself but that's what i got for the best jump shots anyways y'all i appreciate y'all watching throughout this video bro i know this was a long tutorial but i had to give it all the information i could to you guys because you guys asked me a lot of these questions in my streams so i just gave you guys a complete jump shot tutorial the best jump shots everything make sure to comment down below any jump shots that i missed drop a like on this video this video helped you out at all let's shoot for 10,000 likes on this video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new this video took a long time to record and edit so that'd be very appreciated 500 cam away it's been your boy henry aka double hdf and i'm out y'all